Today's advanced data centers grow and change as new workloads and storage systems are added. Unanticipated or overestimated workload requirements can lead to unbalanced utilization across storage arrays. Addressing this issue using host-based migration methods can require lengthy migration plans. NetApp DataMotion simplifies mass virtual machine migration by allowing entire VMware data stores to be moved between arrays non-disruptively. DataMotion is based on NetApp multi-store technology. Multi-store allows the creation of secure logical partitions, called vFilers, from physical storage and network resources in data on tap. vFilers provide secure separation of multi-tenant customers, departments, or applications within the same physical array. In VMware environments, these secure partitions contain complete data stores. DataMotion provides a single process for migrating entire customers, departments, or applications between arrays for hardware refresh, performance and capacity balancing, or avoiding scheduled maintenance outages. For example, the downtime associated with a hardware technology refresh is eliminated by non-disruptively migrating VMware data stores to a newly installed array. The existing array can then be retired from the environment. In this demo of DataMotion, there are several virtual machines with storage contained in multi-store vFilers. Some of these VMs have storage on data stores vFiler 02A and B. We'll open the console of one of these VMs and leave it open while we perform the migration. Each of these VMs are simulating an SQL I.O. workload. The FAS 6070 serving this environment has a continuous workload of around 200 megabytes a second. A newly installed FAS 6080 shows no current I.O. workload. We'll use DataMotion to transfer about half of this workload to the FAS 6080. vFiler02 is hosted on array KC6070-1 and contains both data stores vFiler 02A and B. Selecting the vFiler and clicking the Start Migration button begins the data motion process. vFilers can be migrated online or offline. The destination storage array will be KC6080-3. Each of the virtual network interfaces in this vFiler are mapped to physical interfaces on the destination array. The initial transfer of data can be throttled to limit network utilization for the initial phase of the migration. Data motion can be set to automatically cut over when the initial transfer is complete. During this phase of the migration, vFiler data is copied to the destination array. DataMotion uses NetApp Snap Mirror to replicate the vFiler data from the source array to the destination. Once the initial transfer is complete, the vFiler status will indicate that a cutover can be performed. During the cutover, the Snap Mirror relationship is converted into semi-synchronous mode. Once the relationship is in sync, I.O. to the vFiler will be suspended as the vFiler instance is transferred to the destination array. We'll speed up the clock on the video and watch as during the cutover operation, I.O. to the vFiler is temporarily suspended while about half of the load on the 6070 is transferred to the 6080. As soon as the cutover completes, I.O. to the vFiler automatically continues. We've successfully transferred about half of our workload to our newly installed FAS array. Thank you for watching this demo of NetApp Data Motion.